I'm going to show you guys how to, to do pastures around plumbing. You know, you have water damage and then, you know, it can look very complex, but it really isn't. It's super simple. Anybody can do this it, as long as you have the right approach. So you're going to have to measure every, every cut. Pretty simple though, okay? So look, what I have here is four and seven eighths, okay? Four and seven eighths. Bottom up on that bad boy, it's nine, okay? Boom. That's nine inches, okay? So that's the corner cutout right there. I'm gonna follow, I'm gonna show you guys one cut out at a time. Just, just because, this could be overwhelming for somebody who has never done it. One, one at a time. One, one measurement, one cut out, one knot. Step by step. We're gonna go step by step, just one piece at a time. That way, you're not becoming overwhelmed with all the numbers. Okay, so there you go, so there it is, that's the first one, you got that one out of the way, the only thing now left is, you got this, you got this bad boy, the clean out, you got this drain right here, and you got this, this other clean out right here, I, I don't know what it is, a master clean out, you got the baby clean out, but regardless, we got, we got three notches, this guy, this guy, and this guy. We're going to start with this guy first because it's on the top. Okay. We're going to go left to right. I mean, we're going to go, yeah, left to right. So we're looking at 13.2 by 15.6. Okay, and then bottom up on that bad boy. You got 16 and 13, 6. Okay. Now, as you can see, that it's not a perfectly round shape. And the reason for that, even though it is a two inch clean out, because of the angle, you're going to be a little wider than you're going to be tall. And so, with that, we got that already. So the next piece that we're gonna do, we're gonna do this bad boy right here, okay? Same thing, left to right. You got, we're gonna go 13 by 16. You don't wanna be too tight. If you go too tight, then, you know, you'll be doing a lot of trimming and give yourself a I would say shoot for an eighth, but a quarter is still acceptable. So bottom up on that bad boy. It's going to be 9-3-12-1. Okay, so 9-3. Let me, let me get that out there where you can see it. 12-1. They're pretty close. You can tell they're relatively close. And once again, the width is a little bit wider than the, the height. And the reason for that is because the, the pipe is, is, is at a slight angle. And so what I like to do is I round my corners out. Round your corners out. That'll make it all good. Make it a better custom fit. Round that out, round that out. Now the last one is down here, okay? The, this clean out happens to be a little lower at the bottom end than the bottom. So we're not gonna get the whole pipe. Okay, so I got two and a half, bottom up, two and a half, and then left to right. But this time we're gonna go all the way back to the corner. Looks like we got 18.6, 21 half. Okay, so this 
This one, this guy right here, it's going to be a three and a half inch, uh, a three and a half inch opening. Okay. Now I want you guys to look at it. This is your board. You're going to round up all all your edges, okay? By doing this. Oops. Getting a little. Okay, so that that's the guy right there. Now, to me, I'm going to cut this thing down the middle, and I'm going to go ahead and stick a piece of backing on the back side and just band-aid this thing. That would be the easiest, literally, to, to finish, especially all these little rips. You know, they become, they become weak, and you end up breaking your board up, and then you have to start all over. So That's the reason why I'm going to go this way. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so I, I got the piece cut. I got a piece of backing cut. You know, there's no really, there's, you know, it's easy, but you're still going to have to look at it. So that's my backing right there. I threw a tongue on a piece of uh, steel stud. Okay, so got the back, that bottom screwed off. Let's so get, get this top screwed off. I'm going to go ahead and install, install the board. So the first piece of board, I ended up having to cut it into three pieces, um, but I thought it would be better than doing the little strips. <coughs> okay, so that's one piece. As you can see, it looks pretty good. See. Not too bad, not too harsh. Get it done. Okay, last but not least. Let's hope this bad boy fits, right? Okay, just a slight trim on the uh, the top end. Always be careful of your hands. You don't want to cut and then you know end up cutting your hands. So always be conscientious of the way you run your blade. You could end up having a pretty bad day if you cut yourself. I wouldn't want anybody to have to go through that. If you do drywall long enough, you can rest assured that you will eventually cut yourself. It's never fun. So, you should really should be wearing gloves. But I'm not, so don't follow my lead as far as the no glove thing. There you go. That's good. These big gaps, I'm going to tighten it up, fire cock, I mean, um, fire tape it, and call it good. I mean, you can sit there and spend tons of time at a hanging perfect board. But at the end of the day, taper is going to fix it, and I'm the taper. So I hope this um, this helped you out in any way. And if it did, please hit subscribe, hit like. Uh, feel free to uh, leave a comment down there at the bottom. I would really appreciate that. I um, want to thank you guys for uh, your support. And, and we'll do my best to, to keep pumping out the videos for you guys.